Hey you guys, this is Harry Kaz from 1945.com and today I want to take a little bit deeper look on our YouTube channel here about one of your most favorite topics, at least when it comes to web traffic that is, the plight of the Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, which I would characterize as a floating dumpster fire. Now that's a bold statement. Why am I saying that? Let's get into it. Now despite the stated plans of the Kremlin to build more aircraft carriers, Russia struggled to maintain and repair its one remaining aircraft carrier, the poor Admiral Kuznetsov. Itself a relic of the twilight of the Cold War years, the poor Admiral Kuznetsov has been proven to be unreliable even the best of times, which does not bode well for Russia's wish to build upon a powerful, world-class fleet of aircraft carriers. Basics of the Admiral Kuznetsov. With its full name being something I'm not going to try to pronounce because I don't want to butcher it. The aircraft carrier is named after Nikolai Kuznetsov, who was an admiral of the fleet of the Soviet Union and was the head of the Soviet Navy during the Second World War. The Admiral Kuznetsov was laid down in 1982 and launched in 1985 before joining the fleet in 1990. Since then, it has only taken part in one long-range combat mission, one, which was to provide air support to the regime of Bashar al-Assad in Syria in 2016 and 2017. With many issues related to its propulsion system, piping, and crew living conditions, the Kuznetsov was practically always accompanied by a tugboat to assist the vessel if something broke down and the, the, the aircraft carrier could not get back to, to port. Ongoing repairs of the Admiral Kuznetsov. Plans to put the Admiral Kuznetsov in for repairs in 2017 were hampered from the start by a 50% cut to the 50 billion ruble budget allocated to a wide-ranging reefer project, which reportedly includes the replacement of ref in refurbishment of the vessel's boilers, the replacement of the flight deck, enlargement of the hangar, an overhaul of the ship's air defenses, and a removal of the ship's P-700 granite anti-ship missiles. Large accidents in the form of a deadly 2018 sinking of the PD-50 floating dry dock repairing the Admiral Kuznetsov, as well as a fire on the ship triggered by the explosion of a power cable, well, presented some pretty significant setbacks in the vessel's refit process. In June of this year, Russian state media announced that defects discovered on the ship would cause its return to service to be delayed all the way out to 2024. As of July, Russian sources claim that the work being done the Admiral Kuznetsov was going forward in dry dock. Future of aircraft carriers in the Russian fleet. Once upon a time, Admiral Kuznetsov was not the only aircraft carrier in its fleet. The four examples of the Project 1143 aircraft carrier and the two of the earlier Project 1123 carrier project helicopter, helicopter carriers were built before the Admiral Kuznetsov and served alongside it during the twilight of the Soviet Union. However, as budgetary constraints ate into the financial and material resources available to the Soviet Navy, maintaining such a fleet became unfeasible, and the excess carriers were decommissioned or sold off quickly following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Now, nonetheless, Moscow's interest in building a new aircraft carrier refuses to wane. The Russian Ministry of Defense and elements of its military industrial complex have not kept their examination of the question of building aircraft carriers a secret. Russia's new naval doctrine, actually, just signed by Vladimir Putin on July 31st, calls for Russia to construct new aircraft carriers as part of a wider push against supposed U.S. domination of what Russia calls the World Ocean. The requirements, combined with the document's stated need for Russia to acquire access to a network of naval bases around the world, appears to signal that Russia desires the ability to project power all over the world. Despite Russia's lofty stated goals surrounding the future of its aircraft carrier fleet, naval budgetary concerns stemming from inter-service competition, as well as structural issues in its state-run state shipbuilding enterprise, would place these plans in jeopardy even if Admiral Kuznetsov's repairs were proceeding to plan. If Russia were to try to complement the Admiral Kuznetsov with additional aircraft carriers, it would need to find the shipbuilding capabilities of its own to build them as the Kuznetsov and its Soviet cousins were built in the Mikhailov shipyard in Ukraine, which 
remains under Ukrainian control. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely check out 1945.com for, for more content like this. And please don't forget to leave comments. If you have any questions or, or anything you want to add to the video, please let us know. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.